Imagine you're on a beach sipping a pina colada and the sun is setting. Retirement bliss, right? But hold your horses. Before you pack your bags and head for that sandy paradise, let's talk about the 18 biggest retirement planning mistakes that could turn your golden years into a financial roller coaster. Wait, wait, wait. Did you think retirement was all hammocks and golf carts? Think again. We're about to drop some truth bombs that'll make your piggy bank quiver. So grab your calculators, put on your thinking caps, and let's unravel the mistakes that could delay your financial freedom. It's easy to think retirement is a distant concern, something for the future self to deal with. But here's a wake-up call. The earlier you start, the less you have to save each month and the more you'll have when you retire. It's the magic of compound interest and it's your best friend in the financial world. So let's break it down with some real numbers. If you start saving at 25, putting away just $200 a month with a 7% annual return, by the time you hit 65, you could have over $500,000. Wait until you're 35 and to reach that same goal, you'll need to save almost double that amount monthly. Time is money literally. All right, quiz time. With an average inflation rate of 3%, how much do you think $1 today will be worth in 40 years? Drop your answers in the comments and let's see who's the inflation master. 65 has been etched in our minds as the retirement finish line for years. But here's the twist. The average retirement age in the U.S. is now 64, and many are pushing it to 66. Why? Because the full retirement age for Social Security benefits for those born in 1960 or after is actually 67. Retiring at 65 might seem like a sweet deal, but it comes with its own set of challenges. For starters, claiming Social Security at 65 means you'll get reduced benefits compared to waiting until 67. We're talking about a cut between 6.67% and 13.34%, depending on your birth year. And let's not forget about health care. Medicare kicks in at 65. But if you retire early, you'll need to bridge that gap. Here's the deal. A staggering 84% of employees say retirement benefits are critical when deciding to stay with or leave a company. And yet so many workers leave this treasure unclaimed. Why? Well, sometimes it's confusion. Sometimes it's procrastination. But we're here to clear the fog and get you on the path to riches. Imagine this. Your company offers a 5% match on your 401k. If you're not contributing at least that much, you're saying no thanks to free money. Let's say you earn $50,000 a year. That's $2,500 you could be adding to your retirement pot annually without lifting a finger. Remember, folks, retirement benefits are part of your compensation. Ignoring them is like turning down a portion of your paycheck. So take action and claim yours. If you've been nodding along thinking, wow, I didn't know that, then you're in the right place. But before we sail further, let's anchor down for a second. If you're loving these golden nuggets of wisdom, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And by the way, if you got a retirement tip or a question that's burning a hole in your pocket, do drop it in the comments down below. Now, compound interest is your retirement account's best friend. By not maximizing your match, you're not just missing out on the immediate money, you're also losing out on the interest that money could have earned. That's a double whammy. Folks, contributing less than what your company matches is a mistake you can't afford to make. It's your money and it's your future, so let's make sure we're grabbing every dollar we've earned. Now, just because your employer doesn't offer a retirement plan doesn't mean you can't save. In fact, nearly one-third of all workers are in the same boat. But here's the good news. You've got options, and they're pretty great. You can choose between a traditional IRA where you contribute pre-tax dollars or a Roth IRA where you pay taxes now and enjoy tax-free withdrawals later. And the best part? You can start with as little as you can afford and grow from there. Not having a company retirement plan isn't a roadblock. It's a detour to potentially even better saving avenues. So take control. Open that IRA and watch your retirement savings flourish. You might be thinking, how can saving too much be a mistake? Well, it's all about balance. The IRS caps 401k contributions at $23,000 for 2024, or $30,500 if you're 50 or older. Exceed these limits and you could face a 10% penalty for early withdrawal, plus get double taxed. Ouch! If you're nearing these limits, it might be time to diversify. That's right, spread your investments to avoid tax headaches and penalties. Think IRAs, real estate, or even a taxable brokerage account. 
Mistake number seven is a silent budget buster, not understanding how retirement taxes work. It's like navigating a maze blindfolded. Retirement taxes can be complex, but here's the gist. Different retirement income sources are taxed differently. For instance, traditional 401k and IRA distributions are taxed as ordinary income, while qualified Roth IRA withdrawals are tax-free. Your tax bracket in retirement is key. It's determined by your taxable income, which includes your 401k or IRA distributions, pension income, and possibly a portion of your Social Security benefits. Knowing your bracket helps you plan for the tax impact on your retirement savings. Healthcare costs in retirement can be a major expense. In fact, the average retired couple at age 65 can expect to spend around $315,000 on health care expenses in retirement. That's no small change. And don't forget, Medicare isn't a catch-all. It covers a lot, but not everything. You'll still have out-of-pocket costs for premiums, deductibles, and co-pays. Plus, long-term care isn't typically covered, and that can be a huge expense. So, have you planned for health care costs in your retirement budget? Long-term care is the help you might need if you can no longer perform everyday tasks by yourself. And the costs? They're no standing ovation. We're talking an average of $108,405 per year for a private room in a nursing home. Even assisted living can run you about $54,000 annually. That's not chump change. Ignoring long-term care in your retirement planning is like ignoring the final act of a play. It's crucial, and it needs your attention. So start exploring your options now. Pulling funds from your retirement accounts before age 59 and a half can trigger not just taxes, but also a 10% penalty. It's like a double whammy to your wallet. And if you think that's all, there's more. You're also losing out on potential growth, which could be the biggest cost of all. Early withdrawals can be costly. They should be a last resort, not a go-to move. So let's keep our eyes on the prize and let our retirement savings grow. Mistake number 11 is like wearing someone else's glasses, picking a retirement plan that doesn't match your personal risk tolerance. It can blur your financial vision and lead to some serious headaches. Your risk tolerance is unique like your fingerprint. It's how much market volatility you can stomach without losing sleep. Once you know your risk tolerance, align your investment strategy with it. If you're nearing retirement, you might lean towards more conservative investments. But if you've got time on your side, you could afford to be a bit bolder. Social Security is a cornerstone of retirement planning, but it was never meant to be the whole building. It's designed to replace only about 40% of your pre-retirement income, and with the average monthly benefit hovering around $1,555 or about $18,660 per year, it's clear that it won't cover all your expenses. Relying solely on Social Security is risky business. It's essential to diversify your retirement income with savings, investments, or even a part-time job. Constantly monitoring your retirement accounts can lead to stress and impulsive decisions. Remember, retirement investing is a marathon, not a sprint. The market will have ups and downs, but it's the long-term trends that matter. Checking once a quarter or even once a year can keep you informed without the emotional roller coaster. Inflation can seriously devalue your savings over time. If you're not accounting for it, you might find your retirement fund doesn't go as far as you thought. With an average inflation rate of around 3%, your purchasing power could have in about 24 years. Ignoring inflation in your retirement planning is like ignoring a leak in your financial boat. It might not sink you right away, but it's a problem that will only get bigger, so plan ahead. Having $1 million for retirement is a fantastic milestone, but inflation can make that number less impressive than it sounds. With an average inflation rate of 3%, your million dollars today could be worth about 412000 in 30 years. That's not exactly millionaire status in future dollars, so don't let the millionaire mirage cloud your retirement vision. Many retirees, out of caution, spend only their guaranteed income like Social Security or pensions and leave their nest eggs nearly untouched. But retirement is the time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Not spending enough can mean missing out on your retirement you've worked hard for. 
Finding the balance between enjoyment and security is key. You want to avoid depleting your funds too quickly, but also not hoard your wealth unnecessarily. It's about living your retirement to the fullest within means. The $1,000 per month rule suggests that for every $1,000 of monthly income you want in retirement, you need to save $240,000, assuming a 5% annual withdrawal rate. It's a quick way to estimate, but it doesn't account for inflation or changes in spending habits. This rule is a starting point. Your actual needs may vary based on health care costs, life expectancy, and other factors. Going it alone in retirement planning can be daunting and frankly unnecessary. With complex financial landscapes and ever-changing tax laws, it's wise to seek guidance. In fact, those who work with financial advisors often feel more confident and better prepared. Seek out expertise to navigate the retirement planning waters. After all, two heads are often better than one, especially when it comes to securing your financial future. Hey, we've reached the end of our journey through the 18 biggest retirement planning mistakes. If you've enjoyed our trek and learned something new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we're not here to just talk. We're here to engage. So leave a comment below sharing your biggest takeaway from today's episode or any retirement planning questions you have. Remember, retirement planning might seem daunting, but you're not alone. We're in this together, and together we'll make sure your retirement is as rewarding as it should be.